Hi everyone, you are on my channel Blize Me More and this video will be the first one out of series of videos um, about my personal custom. Um, I will be uh, customizing two plies dolls um, in Alice theme. So um, you will see uh, each single step, each minor detail, uh, major one. I will uh, unveil the mystery behind the process. Uh, I think it will be especially useful if you are a new plies maker or about to begin customizing your first dolls. So we need to detach this part. I don't use any sharp items because I don't want it to be scratched. And in my video about the um, um, how to open the um, uh, blaze head and eye mechanism, I also showed you how to do that. So, okay. Um, well, we just can also remove the eyelashes. Usually they go out easily. But it could be some extreme cases, um, I hope it's not mine, yeah, good, uh, that it may stuck deep inside, so uh, then you need to put it in warm water for some time to leave it soak. But you also can uh, use tweezers uh, helping you to fish them out, right, so, uh, but in most cases, as I told you, they go easily, um, like in this case to remove uh, original eye chips i use um, hot melt glue sticks seven millimeters i don't go for bigger diameter because you know once you um squeeze it so um uh, it goes like around i don't want it to stick to the white part of the eye it's nothing critical you still can remove it uh, but still i don't want to risk it so that is the diameter i choose and the way i light um, the stick right so we need to light the uh, hit the uh, bottom part you know i'm saying that because once uh, my husband he was so excited to try it himself and well uh, because he saw me doing it uh, so many times so he took the lighter he took the glue stick and he was lighting it um not here but here so he just made a hole here um good for nothing so that's why <laughs> he doesn't touch um anything vice related anymore um since i told him that he was doing it wrong so um yeah such a funny story such a funny true story so we definitely don't need it to get uh to catch flames and go wild so we stick it well and leave it for a couple of minutes to cool down um also i can say that um 60 percent well in my case based on my experience of eye chips um i can uh pull them out uh from the first attempt like 60 percent um 30 percent i need um two attempts and can be 10 um really challenging ones when i need to try several times and even i had a very negative experience once that no matter what i was doing um i threw that i threw that um i chip um that I couldn't remove it in any how, I put it in the freezer, I stuck two glue sticks, I was doing everything um, just, you know, out of Im imagination um, and nothing worked. So um, then my last resort was uh, to take my Dremel, uh, which I did, and uh, what happened that I was just drilling it um, inside it was really nasty um the smell was so bad and it was melting in a very ugly way and even the uh, head or the burr of the um, dremel i um, damaged so this plastic stuck around and i couldn't move it uh, remove it anyhow so i'll be doing a lot of talking and um, uh, sharing with you my personal experience and you decide whether you want to scroll the video further or you want to watch uh, from A to Z. See this one. Didn't go. Went. 
Right, so I will repeat this uh, procedure as many times as I need to uh, remove all of the eye chips, like here. Just uh, stay with me. So again, I'm very unlucky and I have this eye chip, which I tried again, everything, it doesn't go. I tried multiple times. Uh, I tried uh, to do it with the uh, carving knife, but I'm also uh, so scared to scratch somewhere else. So uh, I'm forced again to do this nasty job and try to remove the eye chip with the Dremel. And I will wear this mask to protect my eyes because it's very serious. So I'm drilling a hole here and then I will just try to use maybe some hook uh, to pull it out. Otherwise I will need to drill more. Finally, finally I managed it uh, with the knife. Um, yeah, so I... Uh, manage to take it out if it ever happens to you um, and you will be forced really to use your dremel um, don't forget to put uh, the mask because the um, it can chip and also you know fly uh, who knows where so be careful and it's better to not drill uh, inside to this hard part right so from the side but also not too deep um, in order to not damage this part so um everything went um here i was like trying to do it with the carving knife no i didn't scratch anything i was really cautious because it's already my second experience meanwhile i can work with the eyelids because um one of the um tasks is to uh drill a bit um at this area so I saw that some uh, place makers, they just uh, cut this part, uh, but some they um, like drill from, from here. So I also will do like this. Um, it's all for the uh, Blyce eyes to um, open. So um, to make them open even more, uh, we need to cut from here and uh, in order to make them close even more we need to remove um, just a couple millimeters here so this is our top part right we don't we don't want to drill it from here no it's exactly you see this happens here so we just mark it with a pencil uh not more than that so i take my dremel and do the job Yeah, I want to make it a little bit wider, that's why I will change the head. So now it's wide enough. This one is also done. And as I told you, we need to um, remove like a couple of millimeters from this part of the doll. Um, I do it slightly um, with the Dremel, just a little bit, and then with the nail file.
All right, so you see uh, these like bar stick now gives us a chance for the eyes to fully close. Of course, they will never be fully closed as here we'll have um, our bushy eyelashes. Uh, yeah, so don't forget always check and see whether you need to uh, cut somewhere more or just leave it the way it is. And one more thing we need to keep in mind that once we'll start decorating our eyelids, so they will become thicker as we apply uh, several layers, um, regardless whether it's paint or uh, nail polish. So um, I also uh, slightly uh, remove parts from the top um, to make the eye holes a little bit wider however they are already wide enough i know but just really slightly very low speed and also don't forget to wear your face mask uh, while um, you are using Dremel uh, because we don't want to inhale all this plastic What else? Uh, we need to remove the gloss from the eyelids and I'm doing it with such a uh, microfine sponge so I use something like very soft because I don't want to scratch uh, the surface. The point is just to remove this gloss from the top. Done. Now there is no gloss anymore. They are matte. Then I put uh, all the parts of the eye mechanism inside of the soapy water. Uh, just wash it all carefully. Can use a sponge. So we want to remove all the uh, dirt, any kind of glue um, and make it clean. Definitely we need to dry all the parts carefully. So at first I do it with um, a towel and then I take it to the balcony to dry a little bit more. Um, and meanwhile, I will be uh, doing one of my favorite parts in Ply's Custom, um, choosing the eye chips. If you're curious to know more about the eye chips, I also have a separate video uh, about um, how to buy, what kind of four options in purchasing eye chips you have. Um, also, you can do them yourself, but I do buy. So, um, again, if you're new to custom, it also will be useful for you to watch such a video about the eye chips. And there I also have a link to one store uh, which can, uh, let's say, personalize your order. So, uh, you can find or you can buy iChips uh, digital file and then send to them and they will print for you, stick this uh, crystal, the uh, plastic transparent part, uh, cut it, glue it and then they will send your order and it's really affordable, it's a good price and very nice option if you're not happy with AliExpress choices or um, if you cannot find um, what you're looking for among the iChip uh, makers. Well, I made my choices for the iChips. Um, honestly, I have more than 50 different designs. So, uh, But still, it's a very interesting process because I have an image of the doll I want to make. So um, it makes it to be like a puzzle, a jigsaw. Okay. Uh, well, here um, it's not like the glue stick that we were using to remove the eye chips. Uh, here the super glue, if it drops um, out of the diameter of the eye chip where it should be, then, uh, well, no matter what I was trying, I was not able to remove it. So still um, there is like a trace that uh, there was some glue, um, it's like a matte spot, 
so um it happened to me once and now i'm really really cautious so i'll be using to speak for precision of the uh, movements and allocating the glue around so it can be any um super glue i'm using this uh -huh. um i'm not sure i feel like the other one i was using of a different brand i liked uh, better but um still not a big difference right and uh before we start we start sticking our eyes uh we need to know where's the uh top and where's the bottom because um i also match the eyes accordingly okay i just put them inside of the eyelids to see so um i've checked that this will be the top and the eyes will be looking left uh, because it also can be this way no because i prefer um to uh, put the uh, darker part of the eye chip uh, like to create shadows from the sides um, that's why it's important uh, for me and we do understand that we don't just put them randomly right so uh, we need to uh, make them uh, maximum symmetrical so this is what I mean you see the darker part of the eye chip uh, is on the right and they are adjusted so um, I'm just checking and uh, yeah i'm going to squeeze a little bit of glue around and use the toothpick since i don't want any glue uh, going out i will just turn off the camera and do it really focused and then we'll show you the result and one more thing if you feel like uh, inside is not dry enough you can just uh, use the cotton sticks and dry it better i do them one by one because the glue dries very fast and also if you don't put enough glue uh, then the eye chips uh, can fall out uh, yeah all right this is the result i still need to dust them definitely at the last stage right uh that's the end for the first video out of the series of several uh, about the full custom and the theme is uh, Blythe alice so what to expect in the next video in the next video we are going to decorate our eyelids uh, with different techniques one will be the uh, gel nail polish and for the first time i'm going to use the alice template and stamper with the special uh, nail polish for stamping um, also i have some uh, manicure brushes and the other technique will be using paint uh, to paint our eyelids and uh, moreover we also will uh, put the eyelashes um here i have uh, different colors black and white and different sizes i also will highlight which ones i find more suitable and which ones are not and as always don't forget to like and follow because there are many more videos to come especially for the full custom i think it's so exciting